Whoa, penis. What is up, guys? What is up, guys? It's your boy Gansu, and welcome back to a new video. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to do some quick reversed 808s, and by quick, I mean like probably in a minute. So, let's jump into it. So, as you can see, I already have a beat made, whatever, it sounds like ass, but. <laughs> It's gonna get the job done. So, to actually make the reversed 808, you need an 808, yes. You can make them in three main ways. Of course, you can improvise a lot of things, but this is how I do it in mostly these three ways. So, let me show you. The first way would be to actually just grabbing the 808 from the pattern and dragging it in the actual playlist. So, in this case, I would have it here as well. So, what you can do now is actually cut it and keep only the important parts of the 808. So, I'm just gonna make this one unique as a sample. Now that I have it, cut like this what i'll do is actually link it to the same 808 track that i have it on normally and i'm going to normalize it and obviously reverse it here's the thing let's say i want to start the track or have the reversed 808 before the drums if you listen closely and if i'll mute the tag and the, and the melody you'll hear the beginning of the 808 which is you know the the punchiness the eh part of it so we're gonna get rid of it we're gonna keep it reversed and what i'll do is play with the sample start knob basically so something like this maybe and then we'll just chop it like this i'm holding down alt so i can move it freely so now it sounds more smooth and of course you can just lower the volume of course you can place this in the pattern as well it doesn't have to be just at the beginning this is really up to you you can place it here and maybe change the in a little bit so it's you know what I mean? Now, a second way of doing reversed 808s would be to... And also the third one are both in the actual pattern in the MIDI section of, of the pattern. So I'm just gonna make a new pattern, take a shot whenever I say pattern. So I know that the actual 808 is gonna hit here. The reverse 808 is gonna come before this. Something like this. But, but, but Ganso, come on, it's gonna sound normal. Obviously. But in this case, what I'll also do is drop another note one octave lower. So something like this and if we play them now it sounds like ass but what we're gonna do is actually enable the sliding on the first note and maybe make it slightly longer and also we're gonna select the low note and drag the velocity all the way down so now if we play them of course it's gonna sound muddy because they're clashing but you can actually do this in in the actual pattern if you want to have some sort of a, of a break so maybe something like this you know what I mean? Keeping it kind of organized, making sure that it's not clashing with the actual 808 or any other sound. Because if you're doing this with a distorted 808, you know, the frequency is the bass and everything. It's going to make everything clash and be muddy and you don't want that. And now the third way of doing this is the jankiest way, in my opinion. A lot of producers do this and uh, basically it's just one note like this, select it. Alt U and then chop it like this. Let's make it a bit shorter like this and just, you know, just. But it doesn't sound as clean. It mostly sounds like, like an oscillating fart. Some people do this, I don't know why. It's still pretty janky. I'd rather either actually reverse the other weight or do this really up to you now as i said there may be other ways of doing this it's not that i find them unnecessary but i feel like these two specifically the first two i mean are the most reliable way of doing this so yeah but yeah that's about it with this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah i know i may i think i may have made this video already in the past so i may actually just remake some of my old videos because you know i did learn new things and my old videos are kind of bad not saying that my new ones are good but you know anyways you can support me by buying my drum kits you have the link in the description all of them are 50 percent off until the end of the month and uh yeah it was your boy Gunso, and i'll see you guys in the next one peace